Hello and welcome back to another video in which we are going to be talking about organizing our photos on Linux. It's almost in the command line, but of course to view the pictures we need some graphical tools and we are going to be using Fa, which is a graphical application, but is very, very well customizable. So if you just type in Fa, it will open all the files in the directory. Well, I mean, it will open one and then you can go through the directory with your a cursor keys left and right. You can use the up and down to zoom in and zoom out. And you can see that by default, it opens everything in its original uh, size. So you can grab with your mouse and move the picture around, but maybe you want to see the whole image at once. So you could just press the letter F to go full screen. The letter D, pressing the letter D will show up the file name and uh, where you are in the directory. So this is not always the optimal thing, but we can do fa dash dash scale dash down, which will open fa here and we can still navigate by clicking or something. Pressing the letter D will also show the file name and where we are in the directory. And we can still use up and down to zoom in and zoom out, but every time the picture will be zoomed out to fit our window size here, which is quite nice, but this is not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is using FA for some organizing of the pictures. And one of the nice things you can do with FA is you can attach the action one um, parameter here. You can do it action one to nine exists, and these actions can be invoked by just pressing the number one key on your keyboard. So for example, here the action will be just echo, and I think it's a percent %f. So this will just uh, tell us or the file name of the file currently watched. So let's uh, go to fa, and if I am in fa and press the number one key, it will print the file name here, and we'll skip to the next uh, picture. So we can you know, select the ones we want and just press one and we will have a list of our files printed to our terminal. And of course, if you are familiar with the terminal, you could use the double uh, less, less less than signs here to create a file. So maybe you want to make a file list.txt here. So whichever pictures I like, I press the number one. For example, I like this one, press number one. I like this one, press number one. And when I exit, I can just view the um, file list.txt and you can see now it contains the file names of the pictures that I was watching. And uh, if you need to uh, reduce the number, so maybe you want to keep only 10 pictures out of the 100 for putting in it, printing it to an album, maybe then you can just uh, go and uh, always diminish the size of this file list. So maybe you want to create file list two. And what you can do is attach another parameter here called uh, file list. And we will just put in input the name of the file list, which is going to be file list.txt. And now if uh, you press the letter D, you can see this is, uh, I don't know if you see it well or not, but it says one of three. So we only have the three pictures here. So I, as you can see, if I'm cycling through, these are the three pictures I selected and maybe I want to select one or two of them. So maybe I want this one and I want this one. Now let's exit. And now I will be able to take a look at file list2.txt, which contains those two files. So these file lists that you create with FAC using this action one command, these can be then used in the, um, let me just clear this so I can show you the exact comment. So then we can use this uh, file list uh, parameter to tell FA to only open the files from this list. And if you want, you could, you could do it in different ways. So if you do file list and uh, just, uh, uh, what is this, a dash character, then it will input from uh, standard out. So if you want to maybe grab files from the file list, you could use like a, 
grab command and pipe it here. So I'm not sure how I could show you, but if I just say cat, we are using an, un, an absolutely useless use of cat is going to be here. This is just for demonstration purposes. So I can say cat, um, file list dot txt and pipe it into fa and file list dash that will mean that the file list is taken from standard input which is piped from cat and you can see that we have these three images that we listed in the file here so that works and of course that will allow you to grab maybe some certain files and if you are working with a lot of files and you want to check how many files you've selected. What you can do is of course always just use the wc-l command, which is word count, but count lines instead of words. And you say file list.txt, and this will tell us that there are three lines in the file list. So we selected three files for this. And so this is one way of uh, just whittling down your file list is uh, just every time you get a file list and you uh, output to the next one every time you press action one. And you could use different actions. So if you maybe you are not just cutting down a file list, but you have a very like uh, just want to select any pictures you like and move it somewhere, you could of course always change this from an echo command to maybe move and then just move it to some other directory maybe something like this and then pressing the number one key will move the current file to the other directory so fact knows these things another interesting opportunity you have using fa is its thumbnail mode in which uh, you can just invoke it by fa thumbnails and this will create thumbnails of your images and when you click on an image you, it will open in a new window, but in default it opens it, of course, by its original size. You can close this window by the pressing the letter X. If you press Q or Escape, it will close FAC entirely. But if you press X, that will only close the current image. So we can, of course, combine this with scale-down. And in that case, once we click on an image, it will be appearing as a scaled down version in the other window. So we, there are a few other options here, which I will show you is that the limit width will set the whole uh, thumbnail pages size and thumb height and thumb width will um, limit the thumbnail sizes. And the scale down is the same thing we already did. So if I press enter now, you can see that the pictures generated will be a little bigger. And if it does not fit on the screen, don't worry, because you can just grab it with your mouse and uh, scroll through it. And uh, of course, you can always click on it and press Q if you want to close everything. Just like I said, if you press X, you close the actual window. So of course, we can combine this also with file list. And let's go with file list.txt here. So now we only got these three images, which we already uh, added to our file list. And of course, you could combine this with the command uh, button. So we could add a new command that when we just select an image and then we press that, we put it into the next file list. But there is another option we have here, and that is just simply clicking on an image and if we don't want it, so now we want to remove things from the file list, what we can do is maybe, you know, this one is fine, but maybe this one is a little too boring. So let me press the letter D. No, that's uh, showing. Uh, let me press the key delete. Yeah. Okay. So now that I press the delete key, you can see that uh, this image became purple and there is an X on it and now I cannot click on it. So this has been removed from the file list. So if I close fa and uh, open the file list.txt, you can see now it only contains the two file names here. So what it does is that it automatically saves the file list. So if you are not sure if you want to keep the change file list, you should of course copy your file list to, uh, to another file before 
you start uh, doing this. And what is good with this method is, of course, that you actually do not delete the images themselves. So all the uh, files, all the 10 image files are still here. So this way you can uh, just, uh, you know, go and uh, decrease the number of images you want to maybe use in a project. You maybe want to put them in an album somewhere, print them out. So you don't have to like copy the files here and there and then delete them. But using this file list option, it is very easy just to select the files you want. And so I guess this is the end of this uh, short tutorial on FEH and on how to organize your holiday photos on Linux. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of con content. And you can always, you know, leave a comment down there if you have some other ideas how to do things. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Oh, and also don't forget to like this video if you found it useful. So have a good day. Bye bye.